Hi, I'm Stefan. And I'm Evita. And we're here with the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press today with... Uh, Roger Derling, Executive Director of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. All right. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Nice to meet you, too. Um, so in past interviews, you've said that your goal for the film festival is to be accessible for everyone. How has your childhood influenced your motivation for inclusivity for the film festival? Well, I grew up in Panama um, and um, with, with a, um, a very humble um, you know, background. Uh, my parents were not rich and, um, and I always loved the arts and in particular going to the movies, but we couldn't afford it. So um, as, as I uh, got more education and as I grew up, I thought it was very important to be able to, um, you know, provide and be sensitive that there is, um, you know, uh, there is people that don't have access to the arts and then there is, you know, um, you guys are lucky in your school, but other public schools don't have um, arts programs. And yeah. I think the film festival is a, a great tool um, to um, you know, spread the word about about film in particular, and um, it's important to make it very accessible. That's why you see that there's so many free programs. That's why we do a lot of educational programs. That's why we do uh, field trip to the movies, where third graders come for free as far north as uh, Santa Maria, and they're bus in for free to watch movies. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, what's to look forward to this year? What are some highlights? Oh my goodness, everything. Um, I'm excited about about Mike's field trip to the movies. Um, we actually are showcasing two different movies for the third graders. We're showcasing Elemental and Pixar and their team will be in town. And also uh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Um, and the whole team of the film, Chris Lord, Phil Miller will be here. Um, I'm looking forward to the virtuosos. Um, if you look at the lineup, that's that's the night where all this, you know, uh, young actors that have had a breakthrough this year will be there. And um, and it's always important for us to showcase um, diversity and um, inclusivity. And if you see the lineup, it's 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 really spectacular. Um, I could go on. I I I, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning opening presents. There's so much. I think that if you any if if any aspect that you love of cinema, it will be included in the festival. And uh, yeah, it's fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what motivates you to keep uh, hosting and continuing the film festival? Because I love what I do. Um, I, ever since I was a little kid, I mentioned to you earlier, you know, film was so important and I devoured films since I was a little kid. Um, and, um, and I didn't know that there was a career like mine when I was growing up, when I was going to school. I, I found, uh, by default, I found film festivals um, and I found my tribe and, um, and I I, you know, I, I didn't go to schooling for film, nor film festival, uh, how to run a film festival. There's no such thing. Um, and um, I just love, I love film festivals. I love introducing people to new films. I love people gathering and talking about film. So um, I wake up and I pinch myself. I can't believe that I get to do what I do. I, I really love it. Thank you so much.